Okay, this is my latest project. This is a 1968, I believe, Schwinn 16 inch crate atom wheel, fully full of rust. This part's aluminum, I'm gonna take it all apart. We're gonna to try to remove all of the rust, clean up all the spokes, polish everything, and even polish this hub. So I will let you know. And tell me when it's on. It's on. Okay, so now I'm removing the spokes. Okay, so now we'll be removing the spokes with the spoke removal tool. I did snap one because it's very rusty. So this one here, let me see where it is. Where is it? This one, I this one snapped. So I'll have to make a new spoke, which is not a big deal. Okay, so I got it all done with this little tool. Um, about six or seven of them did snap, so I think I'm gonna just end up cutting new spokes and threading them and making new ones. Or, um, I might save what I can on these, but I don't know, they're pretty messed up. Okay, my next step is to clean this rust, and I'm gonna try, I've seen it, I did it, foil and some water. But I had it soap to my water and it seems to work. It worked on some other stuff, so I'm gonna try that. So, let's see if we can get a little sample. So look at it. That was just a little bit, so it seems to be working. Let me hit it a little bit more and I'll let you know, and you can see. Dip in the water. Sorry for the shaky. Okay, this is just barely doing it, and it looks like it's working really good. And like I said, all I'm using is aluminum foil and um, dish soap and some water. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'll get I'll update you more progress. Okay, so this is where I'm at right now, and I cannot believe what, how it's coming out. Um, I need to go get some more foil out of the kitchen. But overall, it's pretty good. I'm gonna go outside and hit this with the wire wheel, and then I'm gonna put some evapor rust and see what comes out. Okay, here's the wheel. Jesus Christ, I'm going to have to give an extra 10. Got pretty much all the rust off. I don't think I'm going to need to use the evapor rust. Okay, so here is the Atom Hub. You can see it's in very bad shape. I'm going to take this. I think I'm going to buff this out on my buffer. And then I'll take the guts apart and then... I want to clean this and leave it aluminum color, but polish everything else. Yeah, so I can listen to it later and decipher it. <laughs> okay, so here's the rim. I just cut these spokes and I threaded them. So we got brand new spokes, and then I have new nipples, and here is the polished hub. I'm gonna use this one kinda, I use this as my guide to uh, kind of just copycat it so I get everything just right. So wish me luck, here I go. Okay, so it's just in here, it's kind of loose. I have, to, I have to tighten up the spokes, but that's the gist of it. Here's the other one that I did it before. But anyway, now I'm gonna tighten these up, all these nipples up and then uh, straight true the wheel and then we'll be ready. Okay, so I think I got it pretty much ready. Here's the spoon. It's a little wobble, but the vent, the rim has a slight little bend in it. It'll hit. So that's a little bounce you see. Now I'm gonna put the tire and tube on and air it up. Okay, so this is the finished wheel. I did add the original tire, which is a 1971 uh, Schwinn Superior. So I'm assuming the rim is a 71 since that's what was on there. I hope you enjoyed this. Okay, so here's the finished wheel, perfectly straight. Gotta love it. Thanks for watching.